Hello my dodgy family and welcome to my channel. Come and join me on this magical journey through the world of dot art. I'm Zelda from the Fairy Realm and today I'm going to show you how my stencils work. So I have two types of stencils. These ones are the large section dividers. They come in a set of two and then I have the small rubber one which is for your rocks and your smaller surfaces like your pendants. I have gone ahead and I have painted my stencils. <laughs> so this will help you to see exactly how these stencils work. Um, there is a uh, tutorial on how I painted my stencils as well. So if you want yours to look like these, go and have a look at those videos. Okay, let's get started with the wooden ones. I have designed these stencils myself because I realized it was such a mission to try and to divide my circle into multiple sections. And then with that comes with dividing it into multiple degrees and all of that. And I just did not want to struggle with that anymore. So these ones work exactly like that. So let's say you want to divide your circle into three equal sections. Okay. Let's have a look here. So here I've got the stencil, so these are all the uneven numbers and these are all the even numbers. It's just because there are so many I had to divide them into two different stencils. But let's just for now use this one. So I want to divide my circle into three equal sections. So I'm going to find where number three is. Okay, And as you can see each one falls within a circle. Okay, and each circle has got a few holes, but first we need to line up the center of our work surface. So I'm just randomly going to choose a center here. Let's see, that's about 10 and a half. I'm just going to put it over there. Now I'm going to line up the center of this with the center of my canvas. Let's see. So how I find it easiest is to usually line up the sides with your canvas equally on all sides and then automatically look at that. It will line up the center with you. So I decided, like I said, on the three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark every hole in the circle of three. Now, when I take that off, it looks like that. So all I need to go and do now is I need to go and connect the center with those dots and you will see that we have got three equal sections. Let's do another one. Let's say that it is my niece's 14th birthday. So I want to use the number 14. I want 14 equal sections. Okay. I'm actually going to use this one here. Okay. So I want to do 14 equal sections. So here's the one. And you can see how I painted it. I painted the circle all the same dots. So that just makes it easier so that I don't switch lanes. It's quite hard to see on the, on the wooden ones. But you do get used to it, or you can just paint it to make your life easier. So if I mark the center here, okay. 14, okay, so let's just line this up quickly. Uh, just see, this is over here. There we go. Like so. And then, because I want 14, every hole in the 14, section or the circle don't switch lanes you guys don't switch lanes okay like that take that off and then look at that and now I can just go and connect them all Okay. 
what I don't do is I don't cross connect because sometimes it might be just a little bit out and then you don't get the exact measurements like this one for instance I can connect that one and that one but look at this one it's not lining up 100% but it still gives me equal sections so rather just connect from the inside out only Okay. Oh, that's a bit skewed, but it's okay. This is just to, to show you how. And there we go. So if we count them, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen equal sections. And then you can just start your mandala like that. Okay, so let's do the rubber one. Right, so the rubber one works exactly the same. The problem is because it is so small, I couldn't get the numbers and things on here. And I had to compress it a little bit. So some of these double up. Okay, and what I mean by that is, look at this. So uh, you do get a map with it as well to show you. So I've color coded everything on the map so you can find it on the stencil. So if I wanted four equal sections, that's yellow. I would mark the center and then all four of those ones. So you can see here, you can see one, two, three, four. Okay, so if I wanted with a double down, what I mean, okay, is let's say I wanted 16 equal sections, okay? So that would be the purple circle. If I mark each and every one of them, I would get 16 equal sections, but if I mark every second hole, I would have eight equal sections. So they just double down like that. Um, and because I have to compress it, I had to compress it as well. I put the three exactly where it would fit. So it's there. So it's not that complicated because once you get it, it's, it's quite easy to use. With the stencil as well, is it has two sides. The one side is blank. You can see it has no circle lines on it for you to follow but this side has got the circle lines for you to follow it will just make your life a little bit easier so let's do the 16 equal sections okay so 16 would be the purple that would be the first second the third circle from the outside so i'm just going to make a dot there as my center dot line that up and I said the third circle from the outside, so that's one, two, three. Let's say I wanted eight sections on this one. So I'm going to do one, skip one, 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 and do one. Right. So you can see it's quite tiny. And we can just connect all of the sections. Like that. And that gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sections. Voila just it's so so easy to use uh let's do another one on the rubber one just because i did two on the wooden ones as well just so that you guys are sure that you understand how it works let's say i wanted 12 equal sections so that would be the red and the light so the red is there so i can either do one two three four the fifth circle from the outside or it's the first second the third circle from the inside so i'm going to do third circle from the inside so that would be one two three mark here line that up this one is a little bit more tricky to line up so first second third circle and i want all of them like that And now I can just connect them all. Just 
pen is a little bit messy. A little bit messy. Like that, and we should have 12, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 sections. There we go. And I want to show you guys the last type of stencil I've got. So if you prefer not to purchase the stencils I just showed you, there is another option. I did make a digital version of these stencils. So they come in one document. I've got the smaller ones like that, and then I've got larger ones like that now how they work is of course the numbers show you exactly how many sections that specific stencil is going to give you same with the larger ones you can see that that's a nine and that's a ten so you're going to cut them out Okay, so let's say this is the center of the piece that you're working on. You're going to, in that hole here, we're going to make a hole in there. Okay, you can either use something to line it up with. So then you can see I'm going to line it up like that, like so. Make sure that the stencil is straight with that line going up and then just on the outside mark where each and every single line ends. So with this one of course because it's a 10 it's going to give me 10 equal sections. So let's quickly connect it. I've had many people pr use this version instead because you can also also just reprint them and then just make more. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy peasy. So that's how it works. If you guys have any more questions about the stencils, put it in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Stay dotty, stay magical, keep well.